What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play the um, grass skirt chase from Spongebob Squarepants. Um, let's get started. Okay, so the song starts with... Alright, so all that is is you're using two fingers, your index finger and your middle finger. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your index finger on the 6th fret of the B string. And then your middle finger is going to be on the 7th fret on the G string. And you strum those two strings together. And you get... Alright, so for this whole beginning part, you're, you're holding the same shape for this entire... Alright, so after you do the 6th fret and the 7th fret, you're going to slide down 3 more frets. So your index finger is going to end up on the 9th fret on the B string. Your middle finger is going to end up on the 10th fret on the G string. Right here. So you do the slide. So after that you have... And all that is, is you start 3 more frets down. Uh, you're holding the same shape. And then you start with your index finger on the 12th fret. On the B string, your middle finger on the 13th fret on the G string. And when I say G string and B string, uh, G string is the third string starting from bottom. So one, two, three. This this string right here, that's the G string, and um, that's the B string, the second string. All right, for those of you who's not familiar. So now you start with your index finger on the 12th fret on the G on the B string, and then your middle finger on the 13th fret on the G string. So you strum it and then you slide three frets down. So you strum it back to the 9th fret and the 10th fret. So, so far we have and then we have this, this thing right here. All that is, is um, you're sliding from the first position, the 6th fret and the 7th fret, you're sliding down 3 frets, and then you go back to where you started. Alright, so you have... Okay, so after we put all that together, we have... Now, feel free to pause for however long you want and replay it however, however many times you want. Alright, so next thing we have... Okay, so let's uh, let's break that down. So we start with, all right. All that is is you're strumming seven and then nine on the G string, and then tenth on the G string, and then ninth on the G string back to the ninth, and then seven nine ten. Okay, so you have, so you're literally going back and forth. And then we have, and that is 11 on the B string and then the 10th on the B string. All right, so you put that together, you have, and then we have, all right, so that is 10 and then 11 on the B string, and then you go down to the 12th fret on the G string, and then you go back up to the 11th fret on the B string. And then go back down to the 10th fret on the B string. So, so you have... Alright. And then play the 10th fret on the G string. And then you go back down to the, the B string, play the 10th fret. So you have... 
So you play the 12th fret and then the 10th fret on the G string. And then you play 9, 10, 9 on the G string. Okay, so you put that together, you have... Alright. And now if you put the whole thing together, you're gonna have... Right. Okay, so next we have... So the first part is pretty much the same. We have... Alright. Now, this time we're gonna have 11, 11th fret on the B string. And then you go back down to the 12th fret on the G string. And then you go back to the 11th fret on the B string. And then you do 10 on the B and then 10 on the G and then back to 10 on the B. And now you go back down to the 12th fret on the G string. And then 10 on the G string. And then 9 on the G string. And then 7 on the G string sliding down to 5. Alright, so you put that together, you have... Alright. And now you're gonna slide from the 5th fret on the G string all the way down to the 9th fret on the G string. And then strum 10. So now, you put that together, you have... Okay, and then next we have this little funky sounding part that goes Okay, um, and all that is is um, you're using two fingers again. You're strumming two strings at the same time um, You're gonna have your index finger on the 11th fret on the B string your middle finger on the 12th fret on the G string and you strum those two strings and then you take your index finger and you move it to the 10th fret on the low E string. And then your index finger goes back to 10th fret on the B string. And you strum G and B again. This whole time your middle finger is, uh, it stays on the 12th fret on the G string. So you have, okay. So after that, we go back to this rhythm again. But this time... So we're close to the ending. Now, all this is your is uh, the first part is going to be the same. Right? And then even up until this point, right? Um, and all that is is um, this is a, this is the same part as the beginning. So we're doing tenth fret on the B string, and then eleventh fret on the B string, and then you go back down to twelve on the G, and then you go back up to the eleventh fret on the on the B, and then back to ten on the B. So you have, and then you're gonna strum 12 on the G, and then we're gonna do the descend, which is, all right, and that is 10 on the B, and then eight on the B, and six on the B, and then five on the B. So you have, all right, so you put that together, you have, Alright, and then it ends with... Okay, um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty similar to the all the way up to the beginning. Alright, it is uh, basically the same thing. Um, so you're gonna have, you're holding the same shape as the beginning part. Your index finger is on the 6th fret 
on the B string, your middle finger is on the 7th fret on the G string, but this time you're not sliding down, you're only uh, strumming these two strings together. So you strum these two, and then you go down three frets, holding the same shape. Alright, so you have... And then you go down three more frets, but this time you're gonna slide up three frets. Okay, and then you go back down to the 6th and 7th fret. And then you're holding the same shape. You're simply moving both of your fingers down one fret. So you have. And then it ends with. Uh, you're gonna have your index finger on the second fret on the G string, your middle finger third fret on the on the B string, and you strum these two strings. This time your index finger is going to be a little higher than your middle finger, um, unlike everything else we did. Um, so you put that together, you have... And there you go, guys. And, <laughs> and there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting more videos soon. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.